Good morning, everybody. It's another episode of Drive Time Marketing. For those of you who've expressed your concern about my safety of doing videos while driving, I'm still going to do that um, because it's very popular, as it turns out. But uh, today's episode is a special one because we're in the backseat of a gorgeous Tesla, and the Tesla is part of the fleet of a, a new company called Green Tomato Cars. We're going to talk to their head of U.S. operations in a few minutes. His name's Johnny Goldstone. Green Tomato Cars has been good enough to bring us this episode of Drive Time Marketing with your old friend and mine, Shashi Belamkanda. How are you, Shashi? I'm fine, Bob. Thank you very much. It's so cool to drive in this uh, hybrid Tesla, which is so silent that it almost looks like we're recording in a studio. That's right. Actually, it's a good point. It's a great car. If you want to do videos in your car, get a Tesla. <laughs> it's quiet, and you won't get background noise in your videos. So, Shashi, last time we spoke, you had taken what I consider to be a huge leap from being on the social media specific side of things at uh, web.com, uh, formerly Network Solutions, to now working for a company, uh, which you're gonna tell us about, but being in charge of actually driving business for them uh, using digital media and being in charge of digital media. So tell us a little bit about what you're up to. I'm now Vice President Digital Marketing at uh, Bazuto. Visitor is a real estate company with uh, a lot of homes for sale. We manage a lot of apartments, almost 91 in the DC area, but we have uh, our uh, company manages apartments all the way up to Boston. So we are mostly on the mid-Atlantic uh, region. It's a great company, family owned, uh, has got its, uh, the leaders lead by heart. And uh, it's been a great change for me them like the experience of their customers yep. whether they are residents or people who buy homes is the most important thing that they care about can you just give everybody an idea of two two properties that are Bazudo properties that are either new or that are that people might know in the, in the general area you know I'm really excited about one property called the city center DC this used to be right near, I mean, about six metro stations cover this area, very close to Metro Center. It's uh, one of the world's best downtown uh, locations ever. A lot of shopping, a lot of walkable uh, distances. The other one is in the Brooklyn community of Washington, D.C., very close to the Brooklyn Catholic University Metro. It's called the Monroe Street Market. I mean, have you think about uh, apartments where you come out of your apartment and you're virtually in an arts walk? artist studios on either side very cool uh, it's almost like this community has got a metro station attached to it excellent and what is your job now I look after digital marketing for Bazuto, which includes websites online marketing advertising uh, search engine optimization social media I have a when I started I had a team of about two but uh, now I have a team of about six people uh, you're building an empire <laughs> no you're it's building uh, an empire I know you how do you enjoy the job and how do you, I know your boss is going to watch this but how do you enjoy the job and what what is it what would people find interesting about making the transition from what you were doing before and what you're doing now I think the biggest thing is about the tangibility of the product right when you work for an online company nothing wrong with the online products but it's a product that uh, if uh, won't say if it went away but here is something that you can touch, feel, experience, and that's what I feel whenever I go. Even today, I'm really awed by any Bazuto apartment community or home that I visit. They are like uh, boutique hotels. Yeah. I mean, uh, the last time I rented an apartment was over 15 years ago. Where, uh, they gave you the key and said, like, hey, go live in it. <laughs> now they care about what you're doing, what your lifestyle is and uh, green tomato cars would perfectly fit into most of uh, because people care about are you do you have a concern for the environment do you yeah. recycle rainwater that's very interesting and we never think about it in terms of apartment management that, uh, so you get do you guys recycle rainwater yes. do you use rain barrels i don't uh, i know that we have these tanks that collect rainwater oh, that's and then essentially we, what we it is it for, uh, yeah farming. they we're looking at that for our house not a big tank but they literally it's a barrel that sits at the bottom of the downspout and you know, instead of the water being runoff and going and be causing erosion, 
you know, you save it, and it has a little hose nozzle at the bottom, so you can use it to water the plants. So it's fab. But anyway, I, I have to slightly off topic, but I'll tell you this: like uh, this rainwater collection thing. Yes. I saw it in Bazutu, and then when I went for vacation to India, almost like eight thousand miles away. Yeah. I saw it in my brother's house, where the oh, government cool. is literally saying, telling every house owner to collect rainwater. That's and great. It well, it's it's a beautiful thing for people who haven't done it. It's a beautiful thing. So, uh, and it will be continue to be a beautiful thing for our children. Um, and their children, so that's great. What's an example of something that you're doing uh, that combines digital marketing, kind of the, 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 the arts and science of that with the hard science of building homes and developments and promoting them? Are there any things that digital has enabled you to do that you wouldn't have thought were possible before, personalization, anything like that? I, I think uh, crowdsource content. Is, uh, over the last couple of years, we've been holding a lot of uh, user-generated uh, contest mm -hmm. where one of them very uh, we called it the Bazuto sweet spot mm -hmm. so we said like hey if you like anything about your home take a picture and some of the uh, submissions were so amazing there's a gentleman who put a GoPro camera on the ceiling of his apartment uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then took his living room looks so beautiful but just the fact that he gave us an idea of here's how you could showcase that's uh, very cool that's very good that's very cool. We've been using, I mean, it has to be fun. So we've been using things like that. Uh, we did uh, we use JumpCam, which is a online uh, uh, online tool for collecting videos from different people. Oh, cool. And about 40 to 50 of our communities just participated thanking the 10,000 fans that we got on Facebook. Oh my God, that's incredible. Is Bazuto hiring or are they, Are you? is the marketing organization hiring? Is there anything you need that that uh, you'd like people to be on the lookout for, other than you want everyone to move to a Bozudo uh, 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 house immediately. Um, is there anything else? I think uh, we are definitely looking for a director of brand marketing. Ah, and really? How much does that pay? No, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this person reports to my boss, who's the chief marketing officer. How do we present ourselves as a corporation? What does the brand mean? And how should it be presented? Okay, very cool. Well, it sounds like that job would be, from what I hear, what you've told us, so it would be interesting because you're promoting the features of the properties, but you're promoting this kind of broader lifestyle. Uh, as you mentioned, it's sort of like a boutique hotel, which, um, and I have, I visited several Bazuda properties just by coincidence, uh, one in Baltimore near Fort McHenry. Mm -hmm. What's it called? McHen McHenry Row. McHenry Row. It's amazing. And uh, some of the things they had were amazing, but it was really what, what lifestyle does that enable that my, uh, my friend who was living there was talking about. So the brand marketing piece seems like it would be interesting. That's, that sounds like a pretty cool job. Absolutely. And, How much uh, does it pay? No, I'm just kidding again. <laughs> uh, we are expanding very fast, so which means that the future can only get better and better. That's great. Uh, well, thanks, Shashi, for, for joining us uh, in this beautiful Tesla, courtesy of Green Tomato Cars. And, you know, I look forward to the next update. You're always doing interesting things, and you're always uh, so able and willing to just talk about it in a very compelling way. I think people learn a lot from it, so thank you very much. Thanks, Bob. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Green Tomato Cars. All right. Now we're going to turn the camera around, and this is what it looks like to be driving a Tesla. And this is the screen I mentioned before. It, it's really um, startlingly big and crisp and it even has a Twitter feed but anyway so this is partly about the car but this is more about green tomato or is it green tomato cars uh, this is Johnny Goldstone Johnny can you just introduce yourself please as what you're what you're doing here I know you're not a chauffeur so you have a big job what is it so I'm Johnny Goldstone I'm VP and founding tomato of green tomato cars it's green tomato cars when I'm speaking English and uh, I've started saying tomato when I'm speaking to my American friends. So, th but this company is from across the pond, as I understand, is that correct? That's right, my business partner and I set up Green Tomato Cars in London in 2006. Uh, we were very uh, lucky and worked hard uh, to build a big successful car service over there. And at the end of last year, we decided to try our luck and bring it over here to the States. Uh, why did you start this, this kind of company? We started Green Tomato Cars really because we wanted to show that environmentally friendly businesses could be commercially viable, uh, which meant they had to be good quality, at the right price, uh, and have a brand that didn't make people sort of feel they were part of something uncool. So uh, we then hit on the idea of providing a car service 
really good quality of service, excellent drivers who we call ambassadors because that's really what they are for us. Um, priced very competitively, a bit more than a taxi, uh, but it's a much better service, less than a town car. Uh, and with a brand with the Green Tomato, something that people could recognize that would have high visibility out on the road, um, people would be pleased to tell their friends and family about. How did you pick Washington to settle, to have the, the, the U.S. Uh, base here? Uh, Washington felt like a great first uh, place to come to, and it still does. Uh, if we took our typical customer in London and relocated them to the U.S., I think the vast majority would come here. It's very much about the thoughtful consumer. It's about being in a city that cares about the environment and, and, and bluntly has a, has a status that means it, it needs to show that it's doing something. We've got the three airports. We service all of those. Uh, plenty to do downtown. A very vibrant, vibrant social life and lots of business travel. I can go to my app store of choice to get uh, the Green Tomato app. See, now you've got me saying it that way. And Well said. And uh, I assume I set up an account and I have to put in a credit card, you know, one time. How does, how does that work from that point on? And you can have your personal card set up. You can have a business account set up with your business card so that you can expense things if you need to. Mm. Um, and so you book your ride, you say favorite addresses, you can make a return trip or a repeat trip of a previous journey that you've already booked. So it becomes very, very quick and easy uh, to use the app. You make your reservation, it lets you know uh, the minimum uh, number of minutes in advance. There's always gonna be the availability. Um, and then you watch the car come to you, you get the message to say the driver's on the way, the message when the, the car arrives. And off you go, you get in the car, enjoy the free Wi-Fi, the smooth ride. From a consumer perspective, there are a lot of options. There's cabs, which people have been using for decades, obviously. There's Uber, which has come on strong and has a lot of awareness. Why would people reach for their Green Tomato app versus something else? What, what, what do you want them to be thinking about? Uh, Green Tomato really is servicing people who don't like to wait till the last minute for a car. So you're going to the airport tomorrow morning or you've got a client coming into town or arranging meetings for a colleague. Um, you know in advance what time you need the car. You know you want a reliable service. You want to know the price in advance. Green Tomato gives you all of that through the app. Um, and so you get the certainty and the reliability. Um, and for people who, who are planning either for themselves or somebody else, that's really where you would use us. You've got all the technology so you can see the car approaching on the map in real time and all that kind of thing. We also have very uh, high level notifications. So you might, for example, uh, have children who are coming home from a party on a Saturday night. You want to know that as a parent that their car's on its way, that it's arrived. Oh, that's good. So they can book it on their app and they know it's coming. You can see on your app that it's going to them or you can receive a text message or an email if you like to let you know the status of the car. So you've got all the reassurance that you want um, and like you say you've got the convenience of, of booking it in advance and not standing out in the rain whether it's Union Station or Reagan Airport on a Sunday night whatever it may be you just don't need to take that risk and have that inconvenience.